Hello everyone, welcome to our video. My name is Philip. I'm also known as PS RPS Enough. The video today is about 64 kilobyte intros, uh, productions from the demo scene that fit into 64 kilobytes of executable size. Uh, on the previous video, we talked about uh, 64 kilobytes from the DOS era. And uh, now we're going to talk about uh, 64 kilobytes from the Windows era. They sort of started to pop up around 99, 2000. Uh, the first one that was really somewhat famous was Please the Cookie Thing by Artby. It got first place at Ambience 2000 and it was pretty famous uh, both for the sound being good, the texture generator also being uh, very interesting. And uh, it followed up a few other uh, intros that the Artby had already done on, um, on the MS-DOS, uh, also under the name Quad. Um, next up, we have uh, some book print and a broken heart. Uh, this was third place at the Mega Symposium 2064K. I'm uh, picking the intros that kind of stand out more. It's a bit of a personal taste, a bit of uh, uh, poet thumb, thumb ups count. Um, but if you think that I'm forgetting something that is important, please feel free to list on the comments below. So please, uh, some book print and a broken heart by Replay was very famous because Replay really established this kind of aesthetic, design aesthetic uh, regarding their intros. Very introspective, mellow with IDM chiptune sounds. And some book print and a broken heart is a very known example of these kind of intros. Um, this was in Mecha Symposium 2000, and on uh, later that year, in August 2000, there was another very interesting production coming out from Three State. It was called Anti Money. It was released at the Lucky Anti Group party, and it got second place there as well. And this one ended up with a lot of thumb ups as well. Um, and then came uh, the big revelation. FRO8, the product by Farbrausch. This was released at the party in December 2000, one of the last editions of the party. I think it still had one or two more featuring the demo scene, but then it, it kind of died out. Uh, the party 2000 was really one of the biggest ones, uh, the biggest final edition of the party, let's call it that. Anyway, this was a big hype at the time, uh, the product. It featured a lot of uh, procedural generated stuff that you started to see on some other intros, but you really see it taken to the full effect on this particular uh, entry by Farbrush. You had procedural music from the synth Virus 2 made by KB. You had uh, the first instance of Worksoig uh, where they would procedurally generate both the textures, the models, a lot of the work and that managed to cramp a lot of scenes into 64k and they made this full-fledged production that seemed like a very big mega demo uh, compacted into 64 kilobytes and at the time it took the demo scene by storm so it became a very big reference um following up that in 2001 there weren't that many entries there were uh, rise by mindforce and park studios stood out uh, but it still used tracked music, just very compressed uh, stuff. And uh, then you have uh, by T-Rex, uh, Your Scientists Invented Electricity. It's one of my favorites as well from, from uh, T-Rex from those days. It got first place at Paradox Party 2001. Also in 2001, when in the assembly demo compo was Sonnet by Three State. Uh, this one had a very long pre-calc time. I'm not sure if it was the textures or the sound something in it and uh, the intro was all right it was not overwhelming in my humble opinion but at the time we got some decent uh, reviews and next up we had in 2002 another very cornerstone uh, release of 64k category uh, fr019 poem to a horse uh, they pretty much followed up what they could do from the product and try to make another uh, big uh, 64k and they achieved very good results in my symposium in 2002 with this one poem to a horse um following up that one uh, in the next year they, they 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 pretty much had established a dominance uh, like farbrush was dominating the entire 64k scene at the time and uh, so er no everyone was expecting on breakpoint that they would win the competition they, they didn't win the competition they got second place with this intro called candytron it featured uh 
3D model of a girl, which at the time was uh, not very um, easy or lightweight to uh, uh, compress uh, 3D model data with animation of a person into 64K it was kind of a technical achievement that was being worked on and tried to procedurally generate the whole model instead of actually uh, compressing the, the, the vertexes. Also, there is speech synth uh, on it. There's like the whole fancy extrusion thing. A lot of nice technology thrown into Candytron. The intro is pretty good. But this was the year that Conspiracy arrived in the scene. And Conspiracy arrived in the scene with Project Genesis. They got first place at Breakpoint, a massive multi-part intro, and uh, they really established a name for themselves. It was pretty much um, a joint effort of the best people from different groups of uh, the Hungarian demo scene. And they got together and formed this new group called Conspiracy, and they started dominating 64K compos after this. Uh, shortly after, uh, Farbrausch decided that they didn't really care about 64K compos very much, and they left the reign for a Conspiracy to take over. Um, Another worthwhile mentioning references was at Assembly that we had Zoom 3 by AND featuring uh, some advanced soft synth stuff as well and texture generator and 3D modeling, procedural modding, everything done but just one person AND. So that was very, uh, very interesting. Got nominated for a shit ton of awards best 64K intro, best effects, best public choice awards. So a lot of awards that went into Zoom 3. Um, following up uh, that one in 2004 it was also a very big 64k made by mostly IQ but with help of other people obviously but it was one of the entries that really made IQ famous in the demo scene was Paradise by RGBA it featured a lot of procedurally generated animals and uh, plant life nature in general um, and uh, it really took the world by storm. It had multiple scenes. It won Illskull 2004, back when Illskull still had a very interesting demo scene section. Uh, and yeah, it was for, for a couple of years was uh, like a landmark of high quality 64Ks as well. And this was shortly after Elevated, I believe. So uh, the hype was high on RGBA at this point. Um, and next up, or shortly after your skull, uh, we had at scene event this intro that also became very famous. It's made by Keops with music by Reed. Reed was in Fairlight at the time. It's called Kings of the Playground, was an invitation for Evoke 2004, and was also nominated for a lot of awards Best 64K, uh, Best Direction, Best uh, Public's Choice Award, and it's one of the top 10 uh, intros in, in uh, Puet uh, still this day. Uh, some other entries worth mentioning at Assembly 2005, we had Fiat Omo by Traction, also got a lot of thumb up votes and a nomination for the best 64k intro, but that was the compo that Fairlight uh, were entering, or not entering, they had already done a few 64ks before, but Che Guevara was one of the stronger entries by Smash when he started getting serious into 64ks, in my humble opinion at least. Uh, music by Reed as well that you've seen uh, on uh, Kings of the Playground before, so Reed was having a very dominant uh, stay in 64k land, uh, doing uh, music for different groups. Um, they had a very strong grit with a very strong hit with uh, Cher Guevara. And the next year we had a very interesting compo also at Assembly. Uh, a lot of interesting entries. The, um, the three main ones that I want to highlight was uh, first this one, Asterozoa by Kulers. Kulers were a pretty big group at this, t at this moment in time. Um, mostly because of the very form fame that they had and they, they were doing a lot of interesting entries. And uh, Asterozoa got third place at Assembly 2006. Uh, following closely this one, uh, Chaos Theory by Conspiracy, which became like superly revered uh, 64K in the demo scene. Uh, it's, it's an entry that is very hard to explain the popularity that it got. It really transcended the demo scene. It became part of of uh, computer culture overall. It was used in adverts, it was used uh, all sorts of uh, places. In documentaries, always talk about 
chaos theory and it was pretty much uh, conspiracy doing conspiracy but they cranked up the bpm and they did some very aggressive uh, track there by gar guy and uh, that really got them a lot of praise so um that's how conspiracy uh, got re-pushed into the 64k uh, gold land let's call it that uh, but they only got second place, and the intro that actually got first place was by Fairlight, which were still doing 64k, very killer stuff, very interesting effects, overabuse of ribbons. This was the year that it was officially declared that everyone should stop doing ribbons because they were already uh, being overdone to death. Smash did a very cool 64k here. Uh, that ringer, not much else to talk about. It won Assembly 2006. In the next year, we have a couple of interesting entries. First one is Frame School, a uh, new school meets old school kind of intro by Equinox. Uh, music by Format, uh, code by Keops. Um, then on the Breakpoint 2008, we had another interesting compo. The first uh, entry, or actually second place entry, was this one, Invoke by Steel and Conspiracy. Uh, doing some very nice, uh, it was like feedback. Uh, motion uh, I don't know the, the technical norm for it. it it looked very good you'll have to you, you'll see it on the video um, and first place on that breakpoint was another very fresh uh, entry from the UK it was uh, uh, pimp my spectrum by 8-bit they did like spectrum emulator but pimping it up so you had the spectrum graphics but in a 64 kilobyte intro and it was it was just the whole intro is very uh, funny interesting it's it's a reference to a lot of people uh, the creativity behind it the references to popular culture uh, in it as well uh, very cool intro got first place at breakpoint won the most original concept award from the cnorg awards and uh, was also nominated for the best 64k intro um in assembly 2008 we saw uh, another very interesting compo uh, one of the last uh, big compos of this era uh, we had in third place incognito by traction got a lot of uh, nice thumb ups and uh, nomination for the best 64k award uh, then in second place we had nebula by skewney uh, coded by curly the same guy from uh, from uh, Kulers, who had made the previous asterozoa intro that was already mentioned and on first place it was Fairlight again so they won like assembly three times in a row with their 64k uh, intros uh, music by Reed again code by smash again and this 64k at the time was completely over the top it included way too many scenes um, it had some effects that were uh, very impressive for the time you see uh, shadows, you see procedural generation of, well, shadows are not very impressive, but procedural generation of entire rooms and buildings, um, a lot of interesting stuff. It also, there, there's this underwater scene, I believe, and a lot of interesting techniques uh, put into it. And it was, at, at, at that point, it was called the 64K category killer, because, um, Smash declared that he had no competition on the 64k um, category, so he would stop doing them and focus more on doing demos instead, or doing their engine instead, instead of focusing on doing 64ks uh, explicitly. And uh, that's what he did. So he, that this was pretty much the retiring 64k intro for uh, Smash or Fairlight, and. For a while after this uh, 64k compo at assembly, the scene from uh, the 64k seemed to die out a little bit. Um, I want to talk more about the resurrection of the 64ks, how they came to be, um, but that, that will be material for another video. This one is already quite extensive, so this is pretty much a coverage of best 64k intros from 2001 till 2008. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if i missed some of your favorites i know i missed at least uh, one uh, intro from conspiracy C that should be here anyways uh, the big difference that is between these intros and the ones that we will see on the next video 
pretty much uh, the, the overviews of, uh, of um, pixel shader techniques that on these uh, specific uh, 64Ks you don't really see it as much. There is some pixel shading stuff in it, but mostly it's about doing polygons, compressing data or procedurally generating data for you to use. There was some stuff with soft synths, but um, soft synths taking, being taken to the next level, but there's still a lot of ground to be improved and we will see uh, exactly what we are talking about on uh, the next uh, video that will cover the rest of the 64 case from 2009 until the present day. So hope to see uh, you guys on that video. Uh, that's all for now. Bye bye. Take care.